Finally, there is an airsoft version of that DSR-1 sniper rifle. But can it keep up to this one? Welcome to another ATV video review. Today we're gonna test the RS DSR-1. We will compare with the real DAMP DSR-1. But before we start, I have to warn you. We completely ran out of stupid jokes about spear, your mom and homosexuality. This review will be full of facts instead of facts. Not unless you're in it. Your mom. First of all, what do you get when you buy the RSTSR? It comes with two magazines, the bipod, the scope and the scope mount. The scope is a 3.5 to 10. One of that sort you get it eBay for 20 bucks. It's an illuminated one, but doesn't come with a battery. The scope mount, well, it's ugly. I don't know if they tried to replicate the real one or just thought it's funny to insult our eyes with this construction. This real DSR has an optional black finish, while the RS DSR has the original two-tone finish. The grey finish already tears off at some spots and this gun hasn't even seen action yet. So that's good if you want a used look, but bad if you want to hang it on your wall. The plastic low receiver of the RS is rougher than the real one, but that's just details. These are the markings of the real steel DSR. The RS markings are different. That's because they use the markings of the DSR that's imported into the US. The real DSR also has markings on the barrel, which the airsoft hasn't. The real steel DSR is chambered in 308 Winchester, while the RS DSR models a 338 Lapur Magnum. So the bolt handle and the compensator differs. The compensator of the RSTSR correctly shows that it chambers for 338 Lapur. The RSTSR1 feels very massive. It weighs about 5 kg without the max and the scope. Add the max and the scope and it weighs about 6.8 kg. The real DSR1 weighs 6 kg unloaded without max without scope. So what's about the futuristic look of the DSR anyway? Nearly all parts can be adjusted in some way. The B-Pod is mounted on the top of the DSR. It can be adjusted to the front or the rear, like on the real one. There are also notable differences between the bipods. On the real DSR, the end of the bipod is much stronger. The RS looks kinda cheap here. Interestingly enough, the RS DSR bipod legs are spring-loaded, while they aren't on the real one. The hand rest, which is slightly smaller on the RS, has six adjustable positions, while a real one just has three. It also comes with a waiver rail that's optional on the real one for mounting accessories. The stock can be adjusted in multiple ways. The RS here is a pain in the ass to adjust. Also, the padding is just glued on the cheek rest, while on the real one it's connected tightly. If you want to adjust the length of the stock on the RS, you have to be careful. The lever is way too easy and you might end up with the stock in your hand. The monopod is released by pushing the wheels backwards. Use the wheel to do the fine adjustment. To extend it even further, use the lever. The real one isn't spring loaded and the lever has to be pushed to the left. The cheek on the real one can be lowered and risen, while the RS one can just be risen. Enough of adjusting, let's get over to the firing part. The magazine holds 22 BBs. Unfortunately, it won't hold the bolts. One has been already lost. So if you're gonna skirmish with it, you better fix the bolts with glue. Releasing the mag on the RS is way harder than on the real one. You can remove the BB department separately from the magazine. The safety lever on the real DSR has three positions. The third one is safe with bolt lock. The RS just has two positions. To adjust the hop up, use an Allen wrench on the top hop up screw. Even if the RS DSR is powered by gas, you have to overcome a slight resistance at the end. With 0.2 gram BBs, the FPS using green gas is about 380 to 400 FPS. But keep in mind, the outer temperatures are about 5 degrees Celsius. Using red gas, the FPS was about 440. 
We go now in to test how precise this gun is at a range of 30 meter. We can't use the bipod because the thread of the screw has already broken. So that doesn't really speak for the quality of this gun. Now here's something interesting. When you're using the bolt, the gas is leaking out. Treffer vorm Ziel. Treffer. Treffer. So these are the results of this shooting test. The chance to hit a human-sized target, symbolized in our case by a body armor, was about 75% at a distance of 30 meter. So that's not really that good for a sniper rifle. Also, during the test we lost the bipod and two bolts of the magazine so I really don't recommend this gun for skirmishing if you want a wall hanger and if there is no other DSR available like a real one you can go for it but really don't drag it into the field it won't bring you any good so I think I'll stick with my real DSR and now I'm trying to find someone who buys the airs of DSR. It's just slightly used, uh, the bolts can be fixed I guess, if you can find it somewhere here in the fog. Um, yeah, that's it. Anything you want to say? Not really. This DSR is not really... Okay, nobody cares. Bye! Bye, bye. Good, blah, blah, blah. <laughs>